ECDL Advanced Driving Lesson 20, Adding and Deleting Section Breaks. When certain pages or parts of a document are to be formatted differently from the rest, for example page layout or page numbering, then what we do is we create sections. Each section can have its own page layout and indeed its own headers and footers, though we're not dealing with headers and footers in this lesson, we'll deal with it at a later date. A document can have as many sections as required. The first thing we're being asked to do is to open the document Stately Home. This is the one that's open on the screen. And I'd just like you to see, as we scroll down, that all the pages are portrait. And there appears to be quite a lot of blank space there. OK. Now, we're going to be making various changes to this. So, first thing, let's look at, the, we want to look, rather than in this view, we want to look in the draft view. So go view, draft, and this will allow us to see any breaks or any, any editing marks on the screen. A typical example would be we've got end of page lines, and we also have over here a page break. So we know that after this particular paragraph of Pep's Corner, it automatically goes to the next page to be to the, for the start of the paragraph beginning gift shop. Okay, let's go back to the top. We've been asked to position the cursor in front of the word gar the gardens and from the page layout tab we want to select breaks and continuous. And what you'll now see is that a section break has been put in just before the paragraph the gardens and it is a continuous section break, which means that it will not start a new page. Next, we're now going to the section which says the pet's corner. And this time, what we're going to do is to insert a next page section break. So in a similar way, we'll go breaks, and this time it's going to be a next page section break. And here you'll see it says section break, next page. Now, section breaks can be changed. The first section break that we put in, which was the one that said continuous, we actually wanted this to be a next page break. So to change it, click anywhere within the gardens paragraph, and from the page layout tab, display the page setup dialog box. This will allow you to go into more detail when, we come, when it comes to making changes. Select the layout tab, click the section start. At the moment it's down as continuous. What we want to do is to change that to new page and then click OK. And what we should see now is that section break is no longer a continuous break, it's a next page. So that now means the gardens will be on a separate page. Next, we're going to look at how to change the layout within a section. So we click in the gardens paragraph, which we clicked in anyway, and from the page layout tab, this time click the orientation button and select landscape. Okay, now I think we can clearly see that in the section that we've got the gardens, it actually is wider. So let's move into print view so we can see this clearly as to whether it has changed it to landscape view. View, print layout. Right, going from the top of the page, what we can see is all of the pages are in portrait mode except for the section that was gardens which is in landscape mode. And then for Pets Corner we're back into uh, portrait mode again. Another thing we can do is to actually delete section breaks. So first of all, let's go back to view in draft mode. I'm going to look at the first section break. All I need to do is click inside it and press delete, and then it gets rid of it. I'm going to do that for the others. I'll get rid of the section break next page that we put in. So click inside it, press delete, and I'm also going to get rid of the page break that was in at the start and again click inside it, press delete, that will get rid of those. 
Now, just so we can see what it looks like at the end, we're doing view, print, layout. Let's have a quick look just to make sure that those various breaks have been removed. And as we can see, they have. OK. Now, at that point, all we're being asked to do is to close the document without saving. Um, it doesn't matter if you lose recent changes. Hopefully, you've got the point of what we're trying to do, and we'll move on to the next topic next time. I look forward to seeing you then.